Today we shall reflect on the life of Saint Casimir. Saint Casimir was the second son of King Casimir the 4th of Poland and the virtuous Elizabeth of Austria. He received his early education from the deeply religious canon John Lugos, the Polish historian who later became Archbishop of Lemberg. At the age of 9, he was already noted for his piety and in his growing years was often found spending long hours of the night on his knees before the locked doors of the churches oblivious to the inclemency of the weather much given to fasting wearing a hair shirt and sleeping on the floor his charity towards the poor knew no bounds thus earning him the title of father and defender of the poor and the wretched Casimir had particularly ardent devotion to the Eucharist and to Our Lady, whom he addressed as his good mother, and he would daily recite, kneeling, Saint Anselm of Canterbury's tender hymn, "Daily, daily, sing to Mary." During his father's prolonged absence in Lithuania, the saintly young prince administered the state of Poland from 1481 to 1483. with pronounced success a self professed celibate he died of consumption at just 26 and at the very hour revealed to him while visiting lithuania of which he was also grand duke he was canonized by pope adrian the 6th in the year 1522 saint casimir whose body was found to be still incorrupt 122 years after his death is the patron of both Poland and Lithuania and is invoked against plague